welcome back to my channel it's just here or should i say the creaseless girl it's about to teach you some tricks <laughs> and Scarlett, of course in the background um so this video whoa 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 so this video is basically how to not have creases in your under eyes i just filmed um, the look right now and I have two actually different concealers on this one's the Mac and this is the NARS But they both have one combat that is the same and you'll see that in the video I just quickly wanted to jump on and say your under eyes are the most delicate spot in your whole face like that's the most delicate so <laughs> Sorry, so just make sure when you're you when you're using your fingers for your eyes you use your ring finger that is the lightest finger in your whole hands so you want to make sure that when you're using you want to really use a light gentle hand and gentle force because that is going to it's going to either make the situation better or worse so it's really up to you how you want to do it i also will share with you my eye cream that i use and i'll talk a little bit about that I also just want to say, this little disclaimer, that no matter what we do, your eyes will crease throughout the day, especially if you're smiling and laughing. It's inevitable, okay? We all have little creases under our eyes. Unless you have filler, then you don't, lucky you. But if you don't like me and you have creases, it's fine. We can only do it like as much as we can. I will show a little trick as well throughout the video that you can try to come back for those little creases that we have right under our eyes. Like I feel like everyone has at least one or two. Come on. Guys, like how this video is going. Please keep watching and I'll see you again soon. So I do have foundation on, but I haven't put any foundation under my eyes. I don't mind if you sit there, that's fine. Just Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> I don't mind if you sit there, but you can't sit anywhere else. Fuck off. You can't do that side. Okay, so let's get straight to it. So. To start off, I will put a photo of an eye cream that I highly, highly, highly recommend. I have tried, like, I think I've tried almost, I would say like 30 eye creams that I can think of at the moment. Um, and this is the only one that I have seen any kind of result with. So I stick to this one and I use this first. And I'll wait about 20 minutes to half an hour before I apply any other products, makeup, anything to my skin. Because... You have to remember if you apply an eye cream and then you show to apply a concealer on top, what that's gonna do is that's gonna end up just making it very like creamy and it's just gonna slide everywhere and it's gonna go into everything. You don't wanna do that and that goes for everything in your skin. So if you apply too much moisturizer on, um, you know, or too much like liquids, that's gonna end up moving your foundation. You know, with primer, the same thing. So I think before you apply, like when you do apply any pr like products to your skin, skincare, wait at least half an hour before applying anything. That's just my preference. I know some people say 10 minutes to wait, but I'd rather be a bit longer just so everything does its work. And then when I go in with the next product, I know I'm good. So just wanted to quickly start off with that. So I have run out of the LA Girl con concealer, but I'll put up a photo here. It's an amazing concealer and it's so affordable. It's like, I think it's $10 in Australia and it's like $8 in America. So really cheap. My other favorite concealer that I have been using since like 2010 or 2011, um, it, no, sorry, 2012 is this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in Custard, um, one of my favorites. Another amazing concealer that I don't really think anyone ever speaks about is the Tarte Creases Concealer. Then, obviously, I think everyone knows this amazing product. This is the MAC Pro Longwear, and this is in shade NC25. I am like completely almost out, but I really try to get like the last little bit. So the two that I want to use is the MAC one and the NARS Creamy Concealer because I love them. I really want to use this, but I always use this in every single video. So if you haven't seen that, check out any other video. I'm like literally using this. So with your under eyes, you have to remember that less is more. So I have dark circles as well. So I completely understand when people say, 
you know, how can you apply less when you have dark circles? So I have a little trick for you guys. Now, if you need to apply a corrector like I do, I highly recommend the Becca corrector. This is the, um, well, this is only if you have like, I guess more purpley under eyes because I feel like the light pink works really well for me. If you have a bit more dark purple, you'd want to go for something a bit more darker, so a bit less peachy and more orange. So because mine are quite light, I am going to go for more of a peachy shade. Um, this is the, yeah, just under eye brightening corrector and I have used quite a lot of it. So what I like to personally do is I go in with a brush and I take some of the corrector and I just put that on the back of my hand so just like that and now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna mix my pro longwear with the concealer uh, with the corrector sorry and what that's gonna do is that's gonna give me not only full coverage correction but it's gonna imply a bit of pink so when we do put a powder on top we can just cancel that pinkness and completely flatten that out. Okay, so I know a lot of people like to use sponges. I myself love to use a sponge, although I do love to use a brush too. And this is the Anne Hazarati brush um, in E01. And I love it because of how flat it is. It's just so dense. And I feel like it really does a perfect job for under the eye. I do also have a sponge with me. This is the Melissa Seam sponge. I personally love this one as well. I feel like it just, is so great for under the eyes. So once I've mixed that, I'm just gonna go straight in. Now I am gonna start placing that under here and lifting more higher around there. Now the reason I'm lifting higher up here and not bringing this close is because I crease really, like I have like what, five, six creases around here. So I don't wanna bring more attention to that. I wanna steer away from that. Do you have to be so loud? Getting a different brush now, and I'm kind of gonna wait like a minute or two, not really two, probably a minute for that to set. So now I'm gonna go ahead with a brush, and I'm gonna just start by pouncing that in. So that's one eye kind of complete. What I personally like to do then is I go in with my beauty blender, and I kind of just start stamping. So now that we've got the concealer on, what you want to do with your beauty blender, and I love this trick. So you want to kind of like squint your eyes. So you know when you squint, like when you look, so you kind of got to look down, look up. So put your head down, put your eyes forward, and that will kind of cancel out all your creases. So then you just kind of want to pounce that in with your beauty blender. Now if you don't want to use your beauty blender, tongue twister. <laughs> You don't want to use your beauty blender. What I highly recommend you doing is when you look down, kind of use your middle finger, not middle finger, sorry, your ring finger. That's the lightest finger you have in your hand, which is the best place to use that for under your eyes because it's the most delicate place. So your eyes are so delicate. That's why you, you want to use the, the lightest pressure. You don't want to go too hard because they're soft. They're, they're fragile. It's like a flower. If you like get a bucket of water and you just tip that over a flower, it's just going to collapse. But if you get like a little gardening flower and you, you go over that, it's going to it's gonna bloom. Same with your under eyes. If you put too much, it's going to crease. If you put a little bit and you work it well, it will stay put. Your finger, you want to get rid of all those creases. And the reason I love using your finger is because it's the warmest, it's so warm, like it's warmer than a brush, it's warmer than a sponge, obviously. So it's gonna do the best job. So I kind of like to go back and forward, go really up in there. Now on the left side, I'm gonna set this with my Ben Nay Fair Translucent Powder. And I love this because it has a little bit of a pinky tinge. So that will completely cancel out any other dark spots you have. And the reason I'm gonna use a brush is because, sorry, I'm not swiping, I'm not swirling, I'm dabbing. Now, do you see the difference? Okay, so now for this eye, I have the NARS Creamy Concealer and then I have the Becca 
corrector right next to it. So I am going to use this Anhazarite, it's an E04 brush and I just personally love this brush. I just personally like using brushes rather than beauty blenders um, and I think it's just because I've gotten so used to them. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place this exactly where I want to cancel out my darkness. Do you see how like already that's just, oh my god, it's just transformed my skin. I'm going to go ahead and start dabbing that in place. So before I set this eye, what are we going to do? We're going to get our ring finger again, look up, make sure there's no active creases. Take your brush. Whoa! I'm going to do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. So just a little recap, one less is more. So you don't need to apply those thick layers that you see everyone do on Instagram. I feel like that will make you crease because you've got so much underneath. You need like a little bit of product. You've seen how bad my dark circles were. If you just mix your corrector with your concealer, I personally don't like to put too much corrector because then it can get too orange or yellowy. So I just take like a scoop. It's just trial and error to see your consistency and see how it works for you. But I, that's what I like to do and I feel like it works so much better rather than going ahead and applying one layer then another layer it's just so much easier if you do apply powder to any of these concealers it will not move it will not move sometimes i don't even apply powder if i'm having a really good day i won't really apply it because i don't think it's so necessary i just feel like the tapping of the fingers as soon as you've like um put your concealer on to make sure that it doesn't set into those creases that is the trick that i feel like has saved my crease life because it used to look really really bad you know those little cringly cringlies that's how my eyes used to look so i wasn't a fan of it anyways guys i really hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope you learned something if you have any other requests let me know in the comments below i hope you have a great day till next time bye